Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to a Endless Runner tutorial. So in this one, we create a high score. As you can tell over here, high score is equal to zero. And then whenever we beat that score, we save the value. And then this is reflected over here. So it is always present as a high score. And of course you can beat it. So if we go crash here instead, we get a high score in full. Now this is also saved when I stop the game and I start it over again. This works for PC, this works for Linux, this works for iPhone, Androids. This works for pretty much everything that Unity supports. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here is our game scene. So whenever we hit play, we do have this going on. We have the score incrementing over time. At 10 it goes faster, at 20 it goes faster, 40, 80, 160, and then so on. But what do we do with this score? We pretty much do nothing. We can't even we can't even keep track of it as of right now. Because the moment we enter collision with this and we say um either play or menu, this is gone. All the work we've put in that into making this our high score is gone. And um you know what? This is not going to work. So we need we need to keep track of of the high score basically and what is the best score you've had. So um, let's just take a quick example. So now right there I have 12 in high school. At this very moment, at the moment that we actually uh, lose, we should do something about this. We should save this data somewhere. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. So we are going to open up our score, our score menu right here, not menu, sorry, script. And somewhere around there, on def, this is where we toggle the end menu. Now at the same time, we should be saving somewhere. We should be saving to our device, to our registry. Luckily for us, Unity gives us a really easy way to do this. It gives us a static class that um, pretty much just takes care of doing all the work. And I'll try to explain as best as I can how it works in the back end. But Let's start by writing it down. So it is called player pref. And this is the static class. Now you get a lot of options like get float, get int, get string. What we're really interested in right now is a set int. Because we're gonna be saving our score as a int, why not? We could be saving it as a float as well, but um, um yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and save it as a float, because it is a float in the first place. And the way this works is once you open the parentheses over there, you see that this is going to take a key and also a value. The key is a string, so open up the quotes, and the value is going to be just whatever value you want to push in there. Since we're saving the score, we're going to send in the score value. And now the key is what we're going to use to retrieve that information. We're saving using that very key, and whenever we want that data back, we need to send in the same exact key. So let's send high score. As simple as that. And now, the way this works, this is going to um, go in, inside of your registry and then uh, create an entry for that very value. Now it really depends on which operating system you are. If you're on Windows, um, the way you can access this is by typing regedit inside of your run bar like so. And then you need to find where is your game save. And I'll come back to it in a moment. But before we do that, we actually need to play the game at least once. So we're saving. So um, we're going to play this. As soon as the undef function is going to be called, we're going to be saving the score. So four in this case. And it should already be saved at this point. Let's take a look. So I'm back inside of my registry. And now we have to look. Let me just uh, give you the full path over here we have to go under H key current user then software and then this is supposed to be the name of your company now um, by default if we go under filed build settings player settings your company is right here up top right now we save under um, default company and the name of the game is called endless YT so if I go here under software Default company, here it is, and I've got I've got quite a lot of projects saved. But uh, ours is called Endless YT, and here it is. Endless YT, we go over to um, to iScore, and if we double click on it, 
it's really hard to read right now but um, we have saved a value now we don't need to even read this because this is uh, this is not something we're supposed to read but when we use the player pref dot get float then we're gonna get the result back into a normal float but this is saved and now we know that this is saved I'm going to remove all of these actually I didn't know I had so much so I've just deleted my save game for every every project I had um, we're gonna change that the company name is going to be n3k because that's the name of my channel and the uh, product name is going to be the endless runner so now if we are to play this once more and we actually enter collision with something we're gonna save it let's let's wait a little bit so we get a, a better high school let's go for 10 or 8 that works so now if I press F5 to refresh under software my company's name which is N3K we should have endless runner right here and this one contains my high score so um, this is how you do it on Windows I'm not quite sure how you do it on Mac or Linux but all we need to know is well we don't even need to know how this works because unity takes care of this for us unity has its own um, function for Windows for Linux for Android phones this works on Android and also iPhones so he takes care of pretty much everything that is why it's really really good for us and all we need to know is how to call this and to retrieve the data we do the exact same thing we say player pref dot get float instead and then it will send the high score float I'm going to save this in my clipboard because we'll actually need to load up that data okay so we know that we're saving stuff now let's go ahead and display it in the menu so I will go back inside of my menu scene and let's actually write the score somewhere so back in my canvas I'm going to create a new uh, we could be saying we could be putting this inside of a a text value yeah let's just do a text value let's not complicate things too much and this is going to be high score okay so I score I will anchor it top left pivot point as well by clicking on this icon and holding shift and also clicking on this icon moving this over to zero zero and then if I just change the font color so we can see better it's up there it's right top left now maybe give it a bigger font size something like this I will also increment the width by quite a lot and let's just say I score two dot and then value that of course will will need to set um, during the code while it's running and maybe give it a position 10 and minus 10 and Y so we have a small margin we can play with and change the font of course okay so our I score right there now what script is being run when we launch this scene let's go take a look we have the main menu right here and that's what we're gonna be using let's open up the main menu which if I remember correctly was a really simple script oh yeah it only had one function so um, for this one we don't even need the update let's wipe it out but we are going to take the start though and here is exactly what we're going to do we are going to start by getting a reference to the text so we need to include unity engine.ui let's do public text high score text and let's save back into the engine we now have this public field and we can simply drag and drop the high score right in there so now this text component is equal to high score text and here is what we're gonna do we're gonna do high score text dot text is equal to and then I'm going to open up the quotes and say it's going to equal high score two dot and then spacebar so I'm already formatting my string right there then plus and on this side of the plus sign I need to add the actual high score value as a int okay so how exactly are we going to do this we are able to fetch that from the registry using player prefs dot get float what float are we getting we are getting the I think it is the high score float that's what we wrote right um, yep high school 
we have to make sure that they're they're the same thing they're the same exact key there we go so by doing this I will get the score in float now if I press play you are going to see that we need to cast this as the int because that's our score right there 8.9 so we lasted 8.9 seconds approximately I know actually we lasted 8.9 seconds now if we went up to 10 that it would be we wouldn't be able to compare this with seconds because at 10 we increment the speed at which we gain points okay so we have this whole thing over here that is equal to 8.9 let's cast this into int like so open parentheses in front and then we write in int by doing that I think we're gonna get a error I'm not sure Oh no, this would actually work, but just for good of uh, just for good practice, I'm going to wrap all of this and then do a two string at the end. Or you could leave it like it was. It was working before, so you might as well just leave it like that. Anyway, um, back in the game, if we hit play, everything works perfectly. So let's beat that high score now. Well, actually, you know what? Let's not even beat it. We're gonna get three as a high score now. Technically, we shouldn't be having 3 written up here, but we never do the check. We simply overwrite that data every time. Now, that's definitely not going to work because your I score has to be, you know, has to be the highest amount of points you've ever made. In this case, I would be 4, and then if I play this again and I only make it up to 3, then I shouldn't write 3, I should write 4, right? So when we do set that value, let's go back in our code. When we do set that val the value inside of score.cs, before that, before doing this, let's actually make sure that it is bigger than um, what we currently had. So let's do player pref dot get float, and we're gonna get the float at high score. And is this float smaller? Then score. Now, let's read that in the proper way. So, if the float that is inside the registry, the one that is considered as high score, is a smaller than my current session score, then we're going to go ahead and overwrite. If it's not, simply skip this line and we are going to toggle the def menu like we do always. Okay, so what's our current high score right now? If we press play, we have three. Let's go ahead and play this a little bit. Okay, we beat our high score. Let's crash, and then it's six. Right, if we go to the menu, it should write six. Now let's play again. And we haven't beaten our score, so let's go to the menu, and it is still six. And that's exactly what we've wanted for this game. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this or if you learned something, please leave me a like. I really appreciate it. And also subscribe for more tutorials like these. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.